we're talking about centrifugal force. And it goes around in a circle and it comes down to strike the ball in a circle. And a hula hoop is a perfect way to show you what that circle's all about. So let's start up like a baseball player. And I'm going to swing around in a circle. And then I'm going to lower that down, see? And lower and lower. And then ultimately, I want that club to run into that ball and send it out towards a target. So you've got to have the proper position and stance for the ball in order to do it consistently. Well, let's actually play a shot. And I'm going to have Phil come up. Come on up, Phil. I'm going to start up in a baseball position. He's got a little club so he doesn't kill me on the follow through. There you go. Now swing it around in a circle. There you go. Now I'm going to bend you down. Now watch this. You need to see this. See how I'm bending him down. Can you see how it's going around in a circle? And the club's swinging through. That away. Super. I hope you get that picture. Now here's a club. Okay. Now let's back up a little. Take a practice swing first. Now back away from the ball. There we go. Now a little practice swing under there. Now you should be able to feel this, you know. You may want to have somebody put a hula hoop over you like this. I mean, you need to gain this picture. You need to see it. Now get into the ball. And now let's actually play a shot now. Out to the hole now. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. That's how it should be done. Swinging in a circle, using symmetrical force. Thank you, Phil. If you don't have your hands on the club correctly, if you don't feel that circular motion coming around to get the club down to the ball, then you're never going to have good contact when the club swings back. Now let me just show you what happens to the average player. He comes out, and let's just say this is his first shot in golf, and he's going to take a comfortable stance, and most people do get into the ball, and they sit back, you know, and they've read all these articles, and they've, they've, they're trying to put all these puzzle parts together, you know, that we talked about earlier. And he gets in here. Now, this does feel real comfortable. But, you know, earlier we talked about centrifugal force, and what happens when it comes down? It pulls out, it increases in weight, and it's going to stretch out. And if this person swings from this position, here's what's going to happen, and he doesn't change his back angle, he's going to go like this. Oh, and then that hurts his back. And he goes, boy, this game is a lot tougher than I thought. So he gets up to the ball again, and he takes his nice, comfortable swing stance, you know. And then on the way down, what does his body tell him to do? What does his subconscious mind tell him to do? Well, it hurts pain. <laughs> So it's going to tell him to pull up. So what he's going to do is this. He's going to top it. And he's confused. And his partners say, well, listen, Charlie, you didn't keep your head down. You need to stay down on the ball. So he gets back. He's, oh, I'll stay down on it. And then, you know, he's topping it again. And it's a never-ending battle. Why? <laughs> because he hadn't taken the time to learn how to stand up to the ball to learn how to take the circle and position it in such a way that when he makes his swing back and around that the club head can come down and strike the ball consistently and effectively to send it ultimately to the target. And so that's why we've got to go into this next puzzle part so that you can understand very clearly how that fits into the big picture, how we stand and get the correct posture to the golf ball.